Welcome back. I'd like to share with you um, another quick to-do thing, a, what we call a check-in process. And I do this often with the students where I ask them to check in and I ask myself that um, to check in. And what, what that means is the three questions that I ask myself. And the three questions are, where am I? What am I doing? Is it real? And I want to kind of check in with myself periodically during the classes even before I step in. And I, and I kind of challenge you to think about um, do the check-in while we bow. Maybe that could be one of the reasons we bow. So it's a physical gesture to think, hey, where am I? What am I doing? Is it real? Instead of just a physical sensation, oh, I'm just trying to do this. But to be mindful of the simple bow and ask ourselves that. So when you walk into the studio, you're saying, hey, where am I? I'm in a karate school now. What am I doing? I'm walking in to get ready to train. Is it real? Yes, I'm going to walk in. I'm absolutely going to do my best. Rather than, oh, this is just another place I'm going to walk into. The check-in has worked tremendous with me with younger kids, even my own kids, especially kids who um, have bad temper or you know they don't think before they say anything or they're being rude. Um, so you might want to challenge that, challenge them and say, hey, you know what, I want you to check in before you answer my question. Or this, I'm going to talk to you about something, but I need you to check in first to make sure that it's kind of like, you know, when we do sparring, we touch gloves because when you go from one partner to the other one, you don't want to carry all the other um, things about the last partner. If they're mean to you or you're angry of them or their pain and their suffering and their whatever it was. When you go to a new opponent, you touch gloves, you, you, in, a, in a way you're kind of checking in. You're going, hey, where am I? I'm with a new partner. I'm not with that big guy anymore. I'm with a smaller you know, gentleman that happens to be my partner, so I'm not going to go back and be mean to him because the other guy was mean to me. You, you kind of see what we're getting at. So the concept of checking is really important to, to remind ourselves um, to be in the moment and be mindful of what we're doing. Um, for my birthday, my kids got me an iWatch. And one of the features that I really appreciate in it is, is that you can set it up, set it for like, I do it for 15 minutes. It doesn't even make noise. It just kind of vibrates on my wrist. And the message is, take a breath. Like, be aware of your breathing, right? And I'm telling you, that has made a, a, a huge difference that even when I'm teaching sometimes, that reminds me like, hey, know where you are like know exactly who you're teaching and and what what we're doing here this is not about ego this is not don't make somebody an offender in a class of 20 because one of them is rude don't take the whole class pay for it right so remember where you at you know where am i what am i doing what's my purpose of being here and is it real am i really doing absolutely my best in doing whatever i'm doing so i highly recommend you to work on this process called the check-in, which is again, where am I? What am I doing? And is it real?